In 2022, From Software, who are well known for the Souls series, which can feel brutal and difficult at times, released Elden Ring, which strayed away from the more linear approach and went into a massive open world, and good lord was it amazing. It took the gaming world by storm. I saw people everywhere from all sorts of communities hopping on the hype train, taking on some of the most iconic bosses we've seen. And I made it my mission to get every trophy. And of course, starting with the most important part of any playthrough, character creation. I don't know if anybody's ready to see this guy. <laughs> Ladies. Look at that schnoz. Our journey begins in the Chapel of Anticipation, where soon we would run into the easiest boss in the game. Ow. Uh, um, it totally died. But anyway, right after, we went up against the hardest boss in the game. Alright, no hit run incoming. Thank you. Easy. And now, the real Elden Ring begins. Oh, rise now. It was time to enter the open world area of Ligma, where it wasn't long before we found our first real test. Not afraid. Oh. Ow. I'm dead. Oh. Can't get me in here, stupid. For the first several hours, it was all about exploring the world and going through caves or dungeons and taking down as many side bosses as I could. Also met Melina, who would give us the ability to summon Torrent the horse. Like, ah, uh, I bequeathed. You queefed? Also met Mommy Ronnie, whose side quest is the only one needed trophy-wise for an ending, and you might recognize her as Esme from Peaky Blinders. And upon looking into the matter, the talk I surmise is of thee. And after more dungeons and leveling up, I decided to get my revenge on the tree sentinel. <laughs> Several hours later, it was time to go up against the first of many trophy bosses, Margit the Fell Omen. All right, what do you got? What do you got? wasn't bad for our first attempt. Ah. Now I know what you're thinking. Wow, those first two attempts were great. What a god tier gamer. Surely he'll get the moves down and win in a couple more tries. Oh, how wrong you'd be. My early game patience ran out and instead of leveling or upgrading gear, I saw this little summon sign for an NPC and together, we were in an unstoppable force. You're dead. Stay dead. Finally. After resting at the bonfire and talking to Melina, we were transported to the round table hold, which is basically the little hub area, which gave us another trophy. Round table hold. 
Our next goal was to make it through Stormvale Castle, which was littered with enemies and showed just how much detail went into making these areas with all the little different spots you could jump and climb to and explore, which is such a change from the Dark Souls games and was very cool to experience. And after the roaming the castle, I finally made it to the next boss, and y'all, it was basically a repeat of Margit. After an hour of failures and not trying something different, I summoned an NPC who I met earlier who asked me to bring her into the fight. So really, I'm just being a good friend. Got him. I can't hear anything. That is cold. Sir, it's epic. And one day, ah. we'll return together to our home, bathed in rays of gold. <sighs> Yay, I got to hear the trophy. Woohoo! I want that as a poster to hang on my wall without, you know, me. I then headed to the top of a tower to get a trophy for activating a great rune. And there's a trophy. And soon after, realized a mistake I had made up to this point. I don't know why I've been using my helmet up to this point. How could you not? <laughs> How can... Oh, the face that instill fear in... Oh. It was then time to tackle Castle Morn, which wasn't too terribly large, and at the end, found another trophy boss. Hi. Begotten. Sweet. After doing some more side objectives like meeting Blight as sort of a part of Ronnie's quest, I made my way down to one of the coolest looking areas in all of the game. I really wish there was a photo mode. I hope they patch that in at some point. Maybe with the DLC. I then lit several beacons which allowed me to take on a fantastic boss that has a fantastic soundtrack. Gotcha. Oh. 
<sighs> Sad to see you go. But I need my trophy. Further underground, we were greeted by the Dragonkin soldier who would grant us with another trophy. I yeah. Oh, get him. What? Oh, he's dead. Well, that'd make more sense. I then finished Yura's questline to get the Naga Kiba Katana, which I would be using the rest of the way. And up next was the Academy of Raya Lucaria, which was full of these magic spammy nerds and where we would get another two boss trophies. Ah! Stop it. Oh. <laughs> Quit sucking my toes. Now you're showing your feet. Bunch of foot fetish people. I'm not here to judge, but... Thank you. Thank you, guys. Perfect distraction. Woo! The next area I went to was full of absolute nightmare fuel. I hate everything that I'm looking at right now. E! No, get away! I don't like it. I don't like it, and I'm uninstalling. You, I, I hate, I hate everything. But at least it led to another trophy boss. Oh, hi. get to the next big section of the game and the next trophy boss, it was through the tunnels and up the mountain until we found the magma worm. Gotcha. Right in the eye. Now time to travel to the southeast part of the map called Kalid, which gave us a real introduction to Scarlet Rot, which makes the poison swamp in Blight Town look like child's play. This garbage will chunk your health like crazy. The enemies in this area also got slightly tougher, like these big rat dogs and the Baltimore Ravens fans after not getting to the Super Bowl yet again. But eventually we made it to the festival of the infamous Radon. Now, I've heard back when the game first came out, he was an absolute menace who gave Melania a run for the hardest boss, but he's been nerfed since. He's still no slouch. You can summon a number of NPCs for this, as it's almost the whole point, but I wanted to do this solo. Ow. 
Ow. I got no help. Dead. Well, there go my runes. Or don't roll, you know. That works too. Gone. Lionel, Blyde, Pat. <gasps> ah. Okay. All right. Calm down. you went. I don't like it. I didn't know you did that twice. Oh, with your rocks. Get them! Get them! Without summoning people, too. <clears throat> With Radon defeated, it was time once again to traverse down to the pretty place after a giant hole was made in the ground where we could knock out three more boss trophies. The first was against, well, ourself. It's me! The world can't stand this much beauty. Only one of us can live. Would heal. Because you're trash. <laughs> Buy me. Mimic tear. Second was another majestic beast. I'm holding it. No, I'm not. Ah, I died. One HP. I think I got my ass kicked by one of the easiest bosses in the game, and that makes me sad. There we go. Regal Ancestor Spirit. And C was one of the worst and most annoying encounters of this game. 
The fight itself probably wouldn't be so terrible if it wasn't for the bogus poison breath, as it hits hard and has a large AoE. Listen, these guys suck. Uh, that's it. Oh, goodbye, teammate. Hair. Oh, you're dead. Heal! Alright, well, we'll call it a draw. After taking a break from main bosses, I went around trying to finish certain side quests, like Ronnie's, for one of the endings, and clearing out some of the bigger enemies for XP to level up some more, before making my way down to an absolute gem of an area. Lake of Rot. Kill me now. I was reading the message. I didn't want to get in. That's what I get for trying to read. Estelle Nat... Oh. Calm down. It's like angry anal beads. That. Ah! Okay. Ah! Let me go. Let's go! Second attempt! I'm the greatest! I ended up finding this trophy boss who, for some reason, gave me a hard time, but eventually I took him down. Alright! I feel nothing. So now up in the northwest part of the map was Volcano Manor, which had us doing some NPC assassination quests in order to get to the main area boss. So for now we just took on the Godskin Noble. There's a lot of blood splots. I'm sure this is safe. Oh, it's fatty. What's up, chunks? Ow, ow. All right. Oh, that's really through the pillar. Uh, yeah. That was a good roll. Mm, safety. Up. All right, your stomach. Yeah, ow. That's getting old. Through the floor. Yep, 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 yep. Ow. Stop, you annoying fat turd. God skin noble. Eat a salad. After taking down yet another tree sentinel, we arrive in Lyondell, the royal capital. It's another pretty cool looking area, minus the sewers, and had a number of tougher enemies. And our first task was in fact to get the sewers out of the way first, maze-like area. And eventually we made it to Moog, who would give us a trophy. Destroy you. Uh... 
Oh, hello, sir. Yeah, can you not? Ow. Sorry. Sorry. Say feel. Hey. later I made my way up a big old tree branch thing and we found ourselves face to face with a familiar foe. Hmm, boss fight it seems. I have seven flasks, make it six. I'm not afraid. Ow. 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 That could have started better. Elden Lord. After grabbing the only real missable collectible, it was all the way up to once again face a familiar foe. Last of all kings. You need to shave. Ow. Oh. Go for another. <laughs> What are you doing? I've made you angry. Shot Stop it. Stop it. Ah, learn the roll, stupid. I didn't die this time. Mm. Mm. One, one attempt. Sharper Morgat. <laughs> the next area I went to was some small section underground to complete Fia's questline, who had five of these nerds she summoned before taking on a big old dragon. Hey. What 
You want to fire? I don't care. I killed you. Ow! Let's dragon for the sex. Dead. After completing the final assassination mission in the mountains, it was time to take on Ricard with a special weapon that was in the boss arena. In the snowy mountain top of the giants, I found my way to Castle Sol, which was home to Commander Nile, who I absolutely struggled with. I had one good run in about an hour and a half of trying, and for whatever reason, this guy had beaten, battered, and bruised me. So I did what any god tier top of the line Elden Ring player from the internet does. I got the Rivers of Blood Katana that I leveled up to plus nine and went to town. First try. Back underground for thankfully the final time, it was time to face Moog again. Of our dynasty. Dynasty. Stupid. This one much tougher than the last fight with his constant fire slash bleed attacks and his three hit combo when he switches to phase two before spamming even more bleed attacks. Stupid. Yeah. Yeah. I did look up tips which included using Moog Shackle to knock him to the ground and a certain bubble tear. Tear? Tear? To help him with the three combo move. Eventually, I had a run where I was in shambles, and this is what happened. Oops. I didn't mean to summon him. Oh, I didn't. I messed up. I messed up. I messed up. Take it! Hey! Hey, next time! Ooh. 
Next? Alright. More quiz. I didn't mean to summon Tish, but um Yeah, I hate this guy, so I don't really care. Afterwards, I quickly went and fully leveled up a weapon. Bling! Before heading to the Halig tree and working my way to Boss Loretta. Fight. Boss fight on a horse. You're an annoying piece of garbage. Thank you for my trophy. Progressing a little further, I found my last legendary ashen remain. Give. Yay. And then it was time for the most notorious boss of the game. The one that could break the soul of any player. Of course, that being. I am Melania. Blade of Mikola. And I have never known defeat. You're about to in about 747 attempts. I... Oh, you're doing that thing. I don't... Oh, okay. Um... You know... Yeah, well, I can wiggle my sword quick, too. Look. Uh. Oh, goodbye, friend. We had a good run. No! Ah! Oh. Ah! Alright, well, uh, I lived. No! I think she just needs someone to give her a compliment or something. Why she gotta be so angry? Hey, Melania. You're beautiful. So, is that it? Is that all we need? Okay. Nope. All right. That was a terrible attempt. She did not like the compliment. I don't understand why. I mean, <laughs> I'm charming. After many, many attempts, I started getting better at dodging the waterfowl dance and the other basic moves, as well as getting to phase two, but it seems like I would take a step forward, then two steps back, and I could never really get a great run. I tried using two katanas, didn't like it. I switched to the rivers of blood, but I could feel it. The self-doubt of not being good enough to do this on my own and knew I only had one option that would cost me dearly. It would cost me the respect of every 45-year-old Souls player in their parents' basement, covered in Cheeto stains who insult anyone who uses a summon and plays their own way. I brought out Mimic Tears. Better than I do. That's that's absolutely disgusting. Already.
I'm not proud, but it is done. Shard Bearer Millennia. People aren't going to like it. They're going to say it was cheap and cheesy. I only care a little. To try and work off the disgusting act of summoning, I decided to go in and help other people with Melania. Cancelled Lizzo? <laughs> I believe I helped around 10 people beat her, but it was back to the mountains to take on the fire giant. Certainly a big scale down in difficulty over Melania, and I beat him on my first try. Go! Oh, stab him in the eye! Then time to say goodbye to Melina, who became a human torch, giving us a trophy. Erd Tree Aflame. Then transporting us to the sky area of Ferrum Azula, which had three bosses. First being the Godskin Duo. Done? Stop. First try, again, I'm the greedest. Second was probably one of my favorites in all the Souls games, and you can tell George R.R. R. Martin helped with this because the dragon theme for this fight Hello. sounded very similar to our dearly beloved Daenerys Targaryen of Game of Thrones. How much damage? Not a lot. Ah, what are you doing? How do I dodge it? How do I dodge it? How do I dodge it? Yeah! Not like that. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Ow. Yeah? Those laser attacks are rough and trying to time his air dive was a bit tricky too at times, but it wasn't long before I was able to strike him down. No! Get back on the ground! That's it. Got him. Remembrance of the Dragon Lord. Lastly was Malekith, a really cool boss who had the awesome armor phase 2 cutscene, but good lord my peanut sized brain could not figure out how to do well in this fight. I had to stop and watch tutorials because I just couldn't get to the point of consistently being able to dodge his moveset. And I wish I had been more patient because, well, eventually I did the thing again. All right, Tish, you're up. Ow. 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 
heal, dude. Whoa! Where'd he go? Oh, hi. Ow. Yep. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. I don't care that I used a summon. I really don't. I got my trophy. And that's all that matters. Next, it was time to finish off the collectibles for all legendary spells, weapons, and talismans before heading back to the newly renovated Lyondell Capital City to take on Muscles McBigpex. Hi. Oh, wow. All right, all right. Leave me alone. Can you? Twas not. Well, phase two with no health. Woohoo! Ah, uh, no touchy! Oh, oh! Ah! To be fair, I was a lot closer to killing him than I probably should have been. Yep. Your muscles aren't even that big. Yes, they are. Can't even heal. And dead. Ow. Ow. Oh, there we go. Okay, uh, run away. Miss time. Cool. No. Ah, all right, I'm sorry. No. Oh, I'm dead. No, 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 no. Cora, Lou, more like. Got him. 90 hours in, it was finally time for the final two bosses, Radagon and Elden Beast. Both were pretty similar in that once you got used to their moveset, it got easy to dodge most attacks. Some still gave me trouble, but every time I got to EB, I'd have more flasks than the last time. I had one run where I was so close to beating him, but through. With Melania, I think I should be given a pass using a summon because she is ruthless. Maliketh, I should have kept trying, but this fight, I was going for almost three hours with multiple runs where I was getting better and better when I caved and I hate myself for it. I probably should have just stopped and came back later because it was totally doable, but nonetheless, like a pleb, I summoned. Stop. Yep. Alright. Now let's go kill this stupid freaking dragon and be done with it. Rid our hands of this mess. Ah! No! How could you? Die! Oh, there we go.
Come here, you. I don't care, I don't care! You're dead. You're dead, and I'm done with you. Using the cloud save feature, it was time to get all three endings. First was for simply hitting the Mend the Elden Ring option. An age of fracture. Oh god, that face. Yay! Elden Lord. For the second one, I had to go back to the sewer area and platform all the way to the bottom, which was super easy. Even worse! Bad. I hate you. Then I had to get naked for some fingers and go back to the final area. Help me step fingers. Yeah, after 90 hours, same. Oh, that's a lot of cheek. Cool, I'm Sauron. Okay. Lord of Frenzied Flame. Saving the best for last was Ronnie's ending. So the last one is Ronnie. I don't know if you can see this light back here. It's got like a LED light that I can change. It's freaking awesome. Here beginneth the chill night that encompasses all, reaching the great beyond. Well then, shall we? My fair consort eternal. Age of the Stars, and... Let's go! Oh, I'm so happy. It's over. Until the DLC, anyway. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, Elden Ring is probably my favorite FromSoft game so far that I've played. Haven't played Bloodborne or Sekiro. Uh, might in the future... But for now, that's it. Uh, take care. Peace.